Screws on this side, things good, screws here, freedom of movement, security, everything, the pins are in, security is moving, checking freedom of movement, once again, make sure no birds are back there, make sure no birds are nested back there, same thing, check security, make sure screws are in, security of the screw, Some cable, cable's good, condition of the cable is good, back right there, check the skid tabs, uh, these are good, real quick. All right, we did the canopy, rear cabin, fuseless antennas. We did an empennage, we did that. Stabilizers, rudders, elevator trims, tie downs, tail cone skid, we did that. This is the window here. Make sure it's secured in there. All right, make sure the window's clean, you know, just overall. Yeah. Just look at pretty much the condition of everything over here. Here on this side of the wing, we're gonna run through this real quick. Security of the screw, yes. Flaps don't move. That's in there and it's secured, no cracks. My hands are getting a little dirty now. Uh, another pin, no cracks. Screw secure. Everything secure here. Screw secure. Move on to the next hinge right here. No cracks, everything's good. Got another one here. Okay, no cracks, that's good. No cracks, that's good. Security of the arm, screw. Move on to the aileron. Once again, freedom of movement. Check for cracks, none. We're good. All right. That's right. No cracks. Security of the arm. Pin, screw. We had another arm. Movement, freedom. Another one. Freedom, no cracks. And we're good. Aileron looks good. All right, we'll move around. The lights. Everything's secured. That's good. All my screws are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and take the tie down off. And leave this here pretty much so we know where to stop and line the DA40 up. Look at the wing, pretty much the general condition of it. Looks good, look at the top. Check my stall strip. All right, now we don't actually know how much fuel is in this wing so let's go ahead and open that and you can see a little bit of fuel in there I'll give you some light so that you can see it there's a little bit of fuel in there you see that okay so that's that wing has a lot of fuel in it but we still don't know how much and you never take things for granted so therefore as we move along the wing checking the overall condition of it stall strip secure all right we'll go ahead and get our little instrument right here and as you can see it's moving up okay this wing has this wing actually has 14 gallons so the other side has 18 and this one has 14. right wing flaps we checked ailerons we checked wing tick position lights and strobes we checked the wing the tie down the stall strip tank filler we checked the actual fuel tank drain and vent this is a fuel tester it goes in the same spot you put the uh the fuel gauge thing in, add some pressure, and fuel comes into the container. What are you looking for in this? Debris, uh, bubbles, any kind of indication, color, look at the coloration. It's supposed to be a light blue. That's the 100 LL. Uh, and it's the fuel is okay. Uh, step, landing gear, wheel fairing, and tire. Step, make sure the screws are in. Make sure it's secure. Landing gear. I check the fairing, it's secure. All the screws are in. I check the tire. The tires is properly inflated, it's pretty good. Everything is uh, secure, all the screws. There's no leaks, so we have no leakage in brake fluid, and we're good. I check the step, I check the wheel well. Uh, check the fairing. Uh, you know, everything's good. The nose, all right? We wanna check the oil, six quarts minimum. Okay, it's just the engine compartment. This is your oil right here. You need six to eight quarts, right? And we're checking, and we're at about seven. You can see that there's a six, there's your eight, and we're about seven. That's good, look at the color of the oil, it's clean. All right, now what you wanna do, also, after you check your oil, there's the information right there about your oil. 
Okay, that's what it says. We're, we're you know, about seven. All right, there you go. The information that do not overfill with oil. Oil in here, because this is where you add oil also. But, you know, the engine generally looks the same as it always does every time I check it. So, it's good. All right, we're almost finished with our pre-flight. Make sure I close that back and secure it. And secure it. Check all the screws. I like to check all the screws for security. That's not just something I do for my peace of mind. On this side, screws, screws, everything is good. Check your air vent, your ducts. Make sure you no know, bird nests are in here. This is how we get ventilation in here. This is where if you need a battery goes dead, you need a jump. You plug it in, you do it like that. It's a safe way to do it. You just check the compartment. Make sure there's nothing irregular in here. And you make sure you secure that back. Uh, we did the cowl and we did the rest of the intakes and propeller and spinner. Let's get prepared to do that. All right, we're gonna do all of that. We run through it real quick, okay? And we do it as we go. We checked all the screws already. Bum bum. Let's go down here. Let's go down, make sure everything's secure. Let's check this while we're here. The screws are in, secure. This is a front nose wheel fairing. All right, make sure that's secure and it is. Check the condition of the actual nose gear. Any problem with that? And they can inspect everything up in here. Let's go to the front, which includes the propeller and the air intakes. I check individually every screw, every screw. Make sure everything is secured. Every one, you check your propeller. This is a brand new prop. And this is uh, wood, the secure of the nose. I'm getting it dirty, my bad. Same thing with this one. Make sure the condition of this is fine. Brand new propeller, security of it. Any cracks, anything abnormal, no. We're good and secure. Take the air intake protectors out. All right, check inside the air intake. Since it was protected, we know there's no birds and stuff up in there, but you still take a pretty good look in there. Anyway, the other one, yeah. No birds, nests, no nothing, everything's good. And you got the other one right here. Check the front cowling. Check the tire. So we're good. Screws. All screws. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Screws, screws, everything looks good. And this side of the wheel fairing. Screws, 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 everything's secure. Tire looks good. See what it says on in, uh, information about the tire. Double check our checklist. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yes, we did. Spinner, propeller, nose gear, wheel fairing, tire. We did that. Exhaust and gasculator. Little fuel sump here at the bottom. Let me check the exhaust. Make sure that's all right. Check the condition of everything. And so what you want to do, you want to make sure that everything is fine here, directly into the engine. You know, just take a little bit, no debris, check the coloration, no water. That's what you want to check. You just want to make sure everything is all right, and it is. We want to do make sure that's secured again. We don't want fuel leaking out. All right. Now, my instructor taught me something that's very important. After you do that, you step away from your aircraft and get to the front of it and just look underneath. What you want to check for, make sure your tie downs are all loose. Left wing, the right, left wing, and the right wing. The tail back here. Everything is loose. There's nothing underneath the aircraft. The aircraft, just check the way the aircraft is sitting. And just generally overlook it, you know. Hey, are you, we secure and confident that this airplane is ready to fly? I am.